Welcome to the Sin Adventure. I'm James Showers, cleanest name in the biz, and today we're taking a look at this really terrible fragrance. Now, I think I titled this video um, Five Reasons Why You Should Buy This Terrible Fragrance, but to be honest, you probably shouldn't buy this fragrance. It's not bad, but it's definitely not awesome. It's not going to be your new signature scent. It's not going to be anything that's going to wow you. It might feel a little familiar. It might have a little nostalgia. I saw a review and somebody compared this to like the scent inside one of those like black light incense kind of like little hippie stores that you used to be able to go to that would be in the mall or something. But to be honest, this uh, makes me feel like I'm at a blockbuster video searching for, um, you know, a new release. It has a, a citrusy scent, a little bit of musk. It just has a really cheap cologne that somebody's dad would wear. It's kind of, you know, whew, man, it hits you with a rush right off the top with those, uh, those opening notes. It does dry down a little bit more like powdery musky after a while. It's definitely not something that, like I said, you're gonna put on and go to the club or something. The bottle does look kind of cool. I think I'll put it on one of the shelves over here and it'll look neat. It is cheesy though. This is a plastic top. This is a little plastic sprayer here. Um, I mean, it does do all right. The atomizer is okay. This was $7. I think to make a taller one, it's like $10. It's not very much money. I buy a lot of fragrance on uh, discounters and sometimes you want to buy something to round the order up so you get your free shipping. This is definitely an item that would do that for you. This is kind of a cool little item that you could get and like I said, put it on the shelf and it would look neat. This is one of those scents that, you know, your buddy comes by and you're gonna go out. You can let him spray a few of these on and you can go ahead and grab your good stuff for you. Um, but, you know, maybe you could use this to cover up a scent even. I don't know. A lot of people out there probably won't enjoy this fragrance. Probably won't even reach for it. And then there is a select few of you that would probably enjoy this fragrance for a nostalgia factor. But I doubt any of you are going to really take this on as a signature scent. It's cheap. It's bad. It's terrible. But there's something about it that kind of draws you back to it. I would not uh, recommend you buying this, but all in all, it's a fun fragrance to have. I have a bunch of little cheap fragrance like this. Most of them smell terrible. This one smells all right, and it's the coolest bottle of them all. Let me know what terrible cheap fragrance you enjoy in the comments down below. See you on the next video. Peace.